party line, you can all hang up now. I'm only calling Dinglinger store, and there won't be anything you can gossip about at all. Hello, Mr. Dinglinger? Yep. This is me. Is my daughter Annie got to your place yet? If she has, put her on, will you? And tell her to hurry, because my preserve is about to cook over. Hello, Annie? Yes, this is me, Mama. Will you ask Mr. Dinglinger if... Uh, wait a minute. Just hold the wire. Miss Flump, Orly Flump, will you please get off of this line? Now, I know you're there, because I can hear your clock ticking. And it sounds like it's slow, too. Hello, Annie? Yes, I'm here. What did you want? Ask Mr. Dimlinger what his steak is worth today. I already asked him, Mama. Eleven cents a pound. Eleven cents? Who does he think he is, Jesse James? Jing, this family's going to break us yet. Your father paying three dollars for a hundred cigars? There goes a whole week's pay up and smoke. And what did he do last year? Went out and paid seven dollars and eighty cents for a suit of clothes. And now he wants steak at eleven cents a pound. I think he's lost his mind. But, Mama, I asked about the ham, and it's nine cents a pound. Nine cents a pound? I don't know how he expects me to make ends meet on our budget with things so high. Annie, girl, you mark my word. Don't you ever get yourself married unless you find a man who's got $300 saved and makes a steady $8 a week. I promise, Mama. Say, um, ask Mr. Dinglinger if he's got them fancy new... Wait a minute. Miss Flump. Hoo-hoo. Miss Flump, will you please hang up your phone again? I know you're on the line because I can hear you breathing. Still got that chest cold, ain't you? If you'd have put on a fried onion poultice like I told you, you wouldn't be wheezing that way. Now go on. Hang up like I asked you. Okay. Annie? Yes, Mama, I'm here. Will you uh, ask... Uh, <clears throat> will you ask... Mr. Dinglinger, if he's got any of them new fangled ladies' union suits like I read about in the Saturday Blade? He's got them, Mama. 89 cents a pair. Shall I get... Shh. No, no. Just, just tell him to put away a size 42 for me and keep his mouth shut. I don't want this all over town. But Jing getting up at 4 a.m., cooking six hours a day, cutting wood, carrying out ashes, churning butter, hauling in water. A woman's got to have something substantial on her back. Anything else, Mama? No, I guess not. But you mind what I told you, Annie. Marry somebody who's making a steady $8 a week. And you'll have to pretty up to catch one doing that good. Do like I did. Put them cucumber slices on your face to bloom up your complexion. Rub a little kerosene on your hair to make it shine. A girl's got to pretty up to grab a man these days. Now hurry on home and... Um, Better bring a ham, even if it is nine cents a pound. Or your father will hit the ceiling. Goodbye. Bye, Mama. Be right home.